Can everybody hear me? Oh, great. I can hear myself. Uh, so, hi, my name's Christopher. I'm here to talk about Manizen. We're a cybersecurity company, and we're here to use data science to accelerate cybersecurity. Now, usually you'd start with a problem. Um, actually, oh, blimey, that's a bad start. Right. Thank you. I start with my team. Um, so the team started with me, frustrated with cybersecurity tools which were difficult to use. The problem is difficult in itself if the tools are difficult to use. And so we made software to make it much simpler to investigate cybersecurity incidents and communicate them with the rest of the, of, of the companies. We've recruited a team around that, starting with Simon, who really is a cybersecurity geek and into machine learning, and progressively we recruited many different people. And we focused on this objective of really helping cybersecurity teams react much faster. Now, you might have noticed I talked about cybersecurity teams. Today, we talk a lot about technology, but we forget that there are people actually doing the job, and they are essential to be able to react to the situations that we're facing today. Deep tech couldn't function without cybersecurity. Um, so these teams today have a big problem. They are exhausted. 80% um, of them consider themselves completely in burnout. Um, there's 4 million jobs which aren't filled worldwide. I think we were talking about that statistic earlier on. And today, the tech and all these problems make it so that it's, on average, 197 days to react to a cybersecurity incident. So that means that when you read it in the newspaper, it's been going on for two-thirds of a year already. And our mission is to really help them manage this problem more efficiently. So the way I like to say it is you have two categories of companies. Companies with small teams, and they don't have enough people to look at all the different doors in their castle and defend it properly, and we want to make them able to actually cover that problem more efficiently. And companies like MSSPs who have a recruiting problem, they know they have a lot of business, they can't find enough people to fill their slots, and so our objective is going to be to help all those companies to manage that human problem. So our promise for them is to multiply their cyber operational capabilities and to make sure that they're more efficient, that they can recruit faster, that they can deal with these issues much more efficiently. We want to accelerate them, we want to empower the first responders, and we want to make sure they can scale. And so two statistics which are quite interesting, threat hunting, which is where you're looking for incidents which have been missed by the algorithms. We're four times as fast in that uh, particular use case, which we've benchmarked with defense in France. And we're able to accelerate um, uh, operations in cybersecurity by 75%. But the way I like to express that is if you have a five-person team, virtually you have a nine-person team. So you're able to go much faster. We do that with a combination of different technologies. And it starts with knowledge graphs to make sure all the different sources of information which they have to deal with on a daily basis is brought into one single point of truth, which they can uh, then easily interrogate. We've used data visualization, which is interactive and intuitive, which means that newcomers that you're having to onboard can get into the job much quicker, and it makes it much easier to filter through information rather than to have to type out commands and things like that. Of course, we've made it real-time collaborative because people expect software to function like that now. And our last trick was to add autonomous machine learning on top of that. But we're not talking about neural nets, which are black boxes. We're talking about a real co-pilot that learns from what the decisions are and then can help them and can explain what the recommendations are. So you're really working with a, a Jarvis-style co-pilot to help you out in all these situations. Um, our company's based in France. We're recognized by some recognizable logos. Most of these are linked to defense. And they, uh, in any case, have been using it for a couple of years now. And it's from them that we've got all these benchmarks. And it's with them that we've built this technology. Um, so our competition, without citing any specific logos, but you'll recognize companies like Splunk and Elastic and companies like that in these um, um, factors. We've seen too many dashboards which are static. They don't move much. They're difficult to maintain and configure. Um, we've seen too many query languages which you have to learn. It takes ages. You have to configure queries and you have to program everything. And machine learning, as it's applied currently, is used mostly for the detection phase, so to detect incidents. And they're black boxes, which means that people tend to turn them off, which is terrible. 
Um, the software we've built interacts with this software and helps people see beyond dashboards, so you can explore much more like in science fiction movies, straight to the information much quicker. It's intuitive, which means that people can get into the job and understand things much faster. And our algorithms learned from the actual people making the decisions so that then they can use that and that knowledge can be spread around the team so everybody can profit from the right uh, decisions that are being made. So, um, our first target is SOCs and CERTs, so Cyber Operation Sensors, that's the detection part, and CERTs, which is the response part. And we're also targeting MSSPs, those are companies that provide those two kinds of teams as a service to other people. Um, they're different business models, but basically we're going to approach them directly, but also with a community marketing approach, because all these people who actually do the cybersecurity job, they choose technologies, they use technologies, even in the army they use WhatsApp, and that kind of proves that people use the most efficient technology. We have a dynamic pricing model, which is based on users and teams, and that means that you're not facing a situation where you're looking at the amount of gigabytes um, circulating and people can actually see and calculate the actual return on investment. It is a SaaS, but it can function on-prem. We didn't deploy SaaS technology in French defense, and it's an annual subscription. Our targeted monthly recurring revenue in 18 months is 150K. That's in euros. I'm sorry, I didn't translate it into pounds. Um, and we've already got DGA, which is basically the French um, uh, Direction Générale de l'Armement, the MOD. Um, Docapos, which is the digital part of the post in France. And Palace, who provide a lot of different systems to a lot of different people, and they probably are more familiar in, in Britain. Um, so. Today, uh, we're looking for business partners. Uh, if you have cyber operation teams, and most of you probably have them, then I know that they're having a hard time and that we can accelerate and help them out. Uh, we're also looking for investors for a seed round. I haven't put any um, numbers in these slides, but I have other seed decks, and, and we can talk about that if you're interested. Thank you very much. If any of those things are interesting to you, you can send me an email, or I will be over there in the corner and gleefully will answer your questions.